soul in sad exile was out on life's sea so burdened with sin and distress till I heard a sweet voice saying make me your choice and I entered the haven of rest I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest I'll sail the wide seas no more the tempest may sweep or the wild stormy deep for in Jesus I'm safe evermore oh He patiently waits To save by His power divine Come anchor your soul In the haven of rest and say, my beloved is mine. I've anchored my soul in the haven of rest. I'll sail the wide sea. O'er the wild stormy deep In Jesus I'm safe evermore In Jesus I'm safe evermore Amen. I'm safe evermore in the haven of rest. I'm Pastor Brad Winnegar. This is from the shepherd to the sheep. And on this edition, I'm featuring this beautiful song, The Haven of Rest, my take on it. And we find its source in Psalm 107. Psalm 107, verses 28, 29, and 30, where it says, Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he bringeth them out of their distresses. He maketh the storm a calm, so that the waves thereof are still. Then are they glad, because they be quiet. So he bringeth them unto their desired haven. Think of that word, haven. The Lord Jesus Christ represents the haven for your soul and mine. And for your friends, family, neighbors, acquaintances, co-workers, fellow students, the stranger that you pass on the street. Jesus Christ is the haven of rest. This world is like a storm. The problems, the burdens without Jesus Christ are unbearable. But in and through Jesus Christ, we find that rest. Our life's ship, our vessel sails into that harbor, drops anchor, and is safe forevermore. There's nothing that can harm us on the eternal level for we are safe we are secure and nothing can come to us to to uh, challenge us unless it comes through the providential and protective hand of our haven of rest Jesus Christ what a wonderful and beautiful thought we're secure today in and through Jesus Christ and let's tell it to the world let's proclaim it clearly 
that there's no other hope, no other haven other than Jesus Christ. He's our help. He's our haven. He's our hope. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today for our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is our haven of rest. And now may everyone drop anchor in that, uh, that wonderful place of safety and security. With heads bowed, eyes closed, if you've never been saved, right now is your time. The Lord Jesus Christ wants you to receive Him. And He's coming to you right now, and He's tugging at your heart. And would you just pray in faith something like this, Dear Jesus, I receive you in my heart and life right now. I take you as my own Savior. I take you at your word. Please come in. Take away my sin and take me to heaven. Make me a new creature in Jesus' name. And if you prayed that prayer, let us know. Right now, let me encourage every soul winner to be simple, basic, and direct and present the haven of rest to those around you right now. And Lord, I do pray for our soul winners. I pray for those that are suffering and sick and those that are going through difficulties right now. We don't even know all of these, but Lord, we entrust them to you. We know that you can provide even dying grace for those who need it. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. For in Jesus I'm safe evermore. Praise the Lord and God bless you today. You are listening to From the Shepherd to the Sheep Daily Devotionals. This is a ministry of Central Baptist Church in Woodbridge, Virginia. If you would like to learn more about our ministries, you can find us online at cbcwoodbridge.org. You will also find many other helpful resources there, including preaching, devotionals, and songs. We thank you for listening to this devotional, From the Shepherd to the Sheep.